Ayano Koji Kiyotaka is a true genius. He wins anywhere at any time. And the reason for his overwhelming superiority can undoubtedly be traced back to the white room. Now what if I told you that you could get a similar education? In this protocol, you'll discover how to leverage the power of AI to serve as your personalized white room instructor, which, in practice, will enable you to get better grades with less effort. It is honestly baffling how most people fail to utilize AI to its full potential, but the good news is that you're on the verge of breaking free from the majority. So, sit up straight, take a deep breath, and let's dive into this guide. First, a highly effective yet low effort habit that can set you apart from your competition is previewing the topics you will cover in class. Research shows that previewing material before class actually enhances comprehension and engagement, which leads to deeper learning during lectures. Simply ask your teacher for the upcoming topics and spend a few minutes familiarizing yourself with them. The challenge lies in finding a clear and understandable outline of the topic. And this is where ChatGPT comes in. Write something along the lines of, provide me with a brief and understandable outline for the upcoming topic we'll be covering in class. Then just take a moment to read the output, and if you want to go the extra mile, think of critical questions about the text. You do not even need to actively look for the answers to your questions. Instead, just move on with your day. By posing these questions, you activate your adaptive subconscious, your brain's rapid response unit, which will chew on that question in the background, especially when you do autopilot tasks like showering or taking a walk. Now let's move on from ChatGTP for a moment to get to the most underrated AI tool for studying, which is actually going to give you an almost unfair advantage. The next time you have to memorize a comprehensive topic, break the information into smaller subtopics, and then create images related to these subtopics with artificial intelligence. The benefits of leveraging these image generators are multifaceted. First, the act of generating prompts aids in the memorization and comprehension process. When you create prompts, you are actively engaging with the material and need to think deeply about the information to come up with suitable visual representations or symbolism. Obviously, you will now get a thorough understanding of the material more easily, as you are not passively reading, but actively processing and translating. Second, this method ingrains the memory into your head by activating different neural pathways. The brain processes visual information in a unique way, and by associating complex concepts with images, you are reinforcing the connections to the information you're trying to remember. In scientific texts, this is known as the dual coding theory, which says that combining verbal and visual information will improve recall and understanding. How does this look practically? So let's say you're studying biology and need to remember the process of photosynthesis. Instead of just writing down the process over and over again, you will generate images which use symbolism to make the concepts easily memorable. For example, you could generate an image of roots extending into the soil, which are depicted as straws drinking from a water glass to represent the plant drawing up water. Also, you could make an image with leaves as open mouths, inhaling tiny CO2 bubbles from the air, which would symbolize the intake of carbon dioxide. I think you get the point. The last important step is to review these images regularly. The combination of creating, visualizing, and reviewing will give you an almost unfair edge in your studies. Okay, now let's explore some more advanced strategies to supercharge your learning with ChatGTP. You should undoubtedly make use of the fact that we comprehend and memorize topics way better by creating analogies between different topics. Yes, we naturally understand and remember concepts better when we can relate them to something familiar. This is mainly because of something known as schemas, which are mental frameworks that hold a cluster of related concepts. The point is that when we encounter new information, our brain tries to fit it into existing schemas, and if the new information can be related to something we already know, it's easier for our brain to integrate it into our existing knowledge base. Without AI, generating effective analogies would have been a high-friction, time-consuming task. But now ChatGTP can be your assistant and do the hard work for you. Simply write, create five analogies to explain this concept to me from different perspectives. Then explain the strengths and weaknesses of each analogy. Alternatively, you could first assess the strengths and limitations of the analogies yourself. Also, to give these analogies a boost, I recommend to specifically leverage the dual coding theory that I have mentioned before. Just ask ChatGTP to create an analogy for the concept X, incorporating both verbal and visual elements. Explain the analogy in detail and highlight how it relates to the process of X. Obviously, these analogies can also serve as inspiration for creating prompts for AI image generators. Having broken down the concept with these analogies, the next step is to evaluate your comprehension. 
After you have studied, it is essential to test yourself, because self-assessment help reinforce what you've learned and highlight areas that require further study. Here, a comprehensive approach includes multiple types of assessment methods. First of all, multiple choice questions are excellent for assessing your understanding across a broad range of topics because they can test recall, application, and analysis skills. You can use prompts like, provide me with five multiple choice questions related to topic X. Include four answer options for each question with one correct answer and three distractors. Next, fill in the blank sentences are useful for testing specific factual knowledge and ensuring you understand key concepts and terminology. Use prompts such as, generate 10 fill in the blank sentences related to topic X. Lastly, true-false statements are quick to generate an answer, which makes them ideal for rapid assessments of factual knowledge. Use prompts like, create 8 true-false statements about topic X. Now, if you really want to maximize the benefits of these testing strategies, combine them in a structured self-assessment routine like this one. If you want to learn something outside of school, like a language, using AI to create a study plan is a game changer. This approach is also incredibly useful when you are actually interested in something covered in school and want to go beyond what the curriculum covers. With this tailored study plan, you can avoid unnecessarily increasing your cognitive load and subsequently study duration by learning in the wrong order. Here, a prompt you can work with is, as someone proficient in topic X, what approach would you suggest for a beginner looking to learn about it? Create a syllabus and study plan for me to learn this information effectively. However, remember that it is worth it to invest a moment to make the prompt more specific for your situation. If you want to tailor your prompt to perfection, then you should specify four things. First, what are your learning goals? For example, if you're learning a language, mention whether you want to focus on conversational skills, reading, writing, or all aspects. Second, what is your current level? Are you a complete beginner, or do you have some foundational knowledge? Third, what is your time frame? Do you have a specific deadline by which you want to achieve certain milestones, and how much time can you dedicate daily or weekly? Lastly, what are your preferred learning methods? Definitely mention if you like a specific learning style, such as interactive exercises, reading materials, or audiovisual aids. Okay bro, you now know how to leverage AI to its fullest for studying. Obviously, you should always take what ChatGTP says with a grain of salt, but even critically thinking about the output is aiding your learning process. Also, thank you very much for your support, and as always, massive respect from me for being able to watch an educational video like this till the end. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future protocols like this one. You got this, bro.